Okay, well, uh, welcome to uh, AustralianMac.com. Um, Dave is my name again, and uh, I shall tell you uh, a little bit, I hope, that I've discovered about iWeb uh, that comes, iWeb 2, that comes with the 08 package of iLife. Now, I'm just going to call it iWeb 08, because that seems to be what everybody's calling it, um, even though technically it's iWeb 2, but I am not a pedant. So I'm sticking with 08 because it's easy to differentiate. Okay, now let's just have a look at the file structure. This is what this one's about. It's a file structure. Uh, here's a look at your um, iDisk, you see. And what you find in the iDisk is a, um, a folder called web, which is exactly the same as it was. A folder called um, RSS Insights, which is exactly the same as it was. Open the RSS file and you'll find an iWeb folder. This is if you've already published, okay, uh, using O6. So I'm just going to call them O6 and O8. Well, I'm only talking about iWeb, okay, got that straight? You look into iWeb and there's my site which is called Australian Mac. Now, first thing I want you to see here is there's an odd thing going on. There's just a space. See that? Australian Mac. Now, that caused problems because in order to deal with the space in the URL, you had to put a, a percent two zero sign in the URL name in order to get it, and that made it look really mucky. Okay, so they've changed that to put an underscore as opposed to a percent two zero. So when O8 publishes, it puts an underscore. Now this can cause some problems. Okay, because as far as I can see. If somebody has bookmarked you as a percent to zero, it doesn't seem to redirect you to the new site. Now, it could be wrong because I mucked around with my um, uh, bloody, um, what do you call it, a site here and scrubbed some stuff off being a smart ass. I thought, you know, oh yeah, I can do this. <laughs> She'll be right, mate. And uh, then I read uh, a bit of it saying, do not touch your old site. So it may be that they've actually built into it a redirect, and I suspect they have, because Apple are pretty good at that sort of stuff. So you may not have any problems with it, and I must admit I haven't read a whole bunch of stuff saying that people have got problems with redirect. So I suspect there probably is uh, far, there is a file there. I did find an odd thing happen, and that is when I tried to change files inside my old iWeb folder, this one, uh, it said the file was already there, and yet it wasn't there. So I reckon they might have put an invisible file in there, uh, rendered it invisible, which does the redirect, specifically so idiots like me won't uh, get rid of them, but somehow I managed to dump that bloody file and it caused me all sorts of problems. So that's what I reckon the score is. So do not, do not on any account get rid of any of the folders you've got at the moment in there until we know more about what's going on. Okay. <coughs> Now, um, so inside that file was, I'll just show you the structure of my sites. Okay, so, um, sorry, if you hear me sort of stopping every now and then and being a bit inconsistent because I'm trying to check out what the hell I'm doing. Uh, now, there's another thing that's occurred, and that's this, this strange file here, the sites RSS. And when you open that up, it's got some weird code in it, which I've not come across before, but I'm sure people who know what they're talking about know what it is. Um, and that looks like a redirect to the new RSS, the area where the new RSSs are, because these ones certainly don't work. In other words, if you've got a podcast uh, and possibly a blog, that refers to these RSSs, they won't go through straight to this RSS because uh, they've the structure has changed. Okay, so unless they're still there, if you publish a new site, you'll find, and I'll show you in a minute where the new RSSs are. Okay, it's a much better structure. I've got to say, all of this has been an improvement, <clears throat> and it may be I'm the only one who's had a problem with it. I noticed there's a few people. Uh, um, with problems, but they've and they've written to me, but um, uh, I don't know that there's been an avalanche yet, and, I'm, and we don't know because it's still too too much early days yet for people to find out. Anyway, let's have a look and see. So you've got the RSS and sites, so we still got the same folder structure, but 
um, if you look in here so that was the iWeb folder but um, now what I've got inside of sites is a folder called Australian Mac which wasn't there before and you notice it's Australian underscore Mac now I actually rebuilt my site because iWeb exploded it and I'm going to show you how you fix that too I hope um, but there's Australian Mac uh, sorry Australian underscore Mac now let's go right into that the, the galleries about iPhoto I think these are just verification things this index HTML is a redirect um, probably left over from the old site uh, anyway we're going to Australian Mac let's open that up radio go back into this view now there's all my podcasts at the top right if I look inside the podcast and this is really quite neat because it's it's kind of better than the way it was you first of all you'll see that the, the names changed it wasn't it would have been Australian space Mac space gossip space audio it's now underscore so it's changed all of those even though in iWeb I haven't got an underscore so I haven't put the underscore in it's just converted it to an underscore to make sure that it's a consistent URL it's got the archive files and there you are there's the RSS XML file which used to be in the other place but is now contained within the podcast itself so that's quite good it's got the other thing it's changed is it's changed the media um, the media is now uh, oh no sorry not the media um, where is it in the archive files uh, no, uh, bear in mind these are CSS is a cascading style sheet that tells them tells the site what it looks like. JS is a um, uh, JavaScript which has to be called in order to do particular things. So there's a few different um, cascading style sheets for different bits here. Uh, the iTunes JPEG that's uh, what it looks like. You know the, that's the for instance if I open that up you can see the the JPEG is is what it appears what appears on iTunes so it's, it's a really nice stru structure I like it um, and I think the movies are contained in the files God I should have thought of this before I started this tutorial shouldn't I this is very slack um, entries media where the hell is it um, maybe it's in here no hang on I'll stop and have a look Okay, I found it. <laughs> I thought it was inside these, but it's not. Look down here. See this? It's got a file called Media. How sensible is that? Now, um, just before I go into Media, you'll see all of these. So every page I've got has the page and then the files associated with it. That's exactly the same. Uh, but you'll notice once again that all the names have been changed to have an underscore. Okay, now if you look in the media file, open up that, there's all of the M4As, which is a, an MP4 audio, um, and the M4Vs, which is the video ones, um, and uh, they're all there, and they're there by size. You can see the biggest one. My god, that was ridiculously big. What the hell am I doing there? Uh, but the beauty of it is they're all named, uh, whereas in the old structure they weren't named, they were given numbers, and you could never understand which one was what. And so uh, this is, it's beautifully done, really, really nicely done, beautifully tidy it is, so it makes it a lot easier. So although it's a pain at the moment to get used to, bear in mind that once it's converted and you start to work with it, i found that it doesn't crash, it's extremely um, reliable, it's uh, fantastic and I'm going to be doing a whole range of tutorials on 08 soon um, which will show you the different uh, features and so forth that you've got. Now so let's just go back again a little bit and see what we've got here. I've got a parrot on me, he's a real pain. He's decided to play, he's only seven months old. They lived to 35 years, he's a Quaker parrot. So if you hear strange noises it's because he's climbing over my microphone. Um, Okay, so you see where the Australian Mac site is. So this is the new site. Now it so happens that I've kept the old site going. I've republished and done that. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stop here because I think that gives you an idea of where things have changed or how things have changed, where your RSS files are. And uh, 
and um, I'm going to show you now how you can convert your files um, from uh, 06 to 08 which uh, you need to do and I hate this hate to say this to you but it's safest to rebuild it and I'll show you how to do that easily okay catch you later